Hey YouTube family, welcome back to Faye's Lock Life. On my channel, I talk about sister locks, I give informative videos, and I talk about other topics as well. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you can uh, decide to hang around for a little while. And if you are one of my lock stars, thank you for tuning in to yet another video. Okay, guys, so I hope everybody is doing well. I'm feeling blessed today. I feel good, so that's always great. I'm trying to get into this thing of positive thinking all the time. Time as much as possible. Well, anyways, in this video, we are going to be talking about the DIY. Guys, why? Because I am currently retightening my hair. And for the past, I would say, it almost feels like a year, I think it's a year, um, that I have taken over retightening my hair. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some pros and cons, what I use when I retighten my hair, and all of that jazz, guys. So hopefully you'll get some information from this video. Maybe it can help you if you are a DIYer, okay? There are pros and cons to it, okay? So before I get into all that, I am getting ready for work, guys. So um, I am going to be just doing my stuff. So just kind of like, you know, don't nothing, another mind what I'm doing. I am getting ready for work as I talk to you about this video. As you can see, I have a braid out. I mean, I have braids in my hair because I'm going to do a braid out. But this has nothing really to do with the retightening. It's just I'm doing this because... I have to go to work as well. But anyways, as far as the DIY, so we're going to talk about some pros. Let's talk about some of the pros first, guys, okay? So some of the pros of a DIY retightening without, you know, the obvious is you're going to save on money. Yes, who doesn't want to save some money? We all like to save money, right? So that's one of the benefits that you will get when you take over retightening your hair. So if so, in my case, um, the reason why I did it was I did need to save money at the time. Um, everyone, um, you know, income is not always the same all the time. So you may have a time where you may have, you know, you're not working full time. Maybe you're part time now or whatever happened. Maybe you're laid off. You don't have a job anymore. So you may not be able to afford to get that retightening, you know, because they're a little bit pricey out here. You got to make sure you got your coins in order in order to keep this style up. So I fell into that situation at a point, and so I decided, I started to, I decided to take over mine. Now, the reason why I was able to take over mine as well is because I had, um, I had taken the Sister Lock course, the whole course, so it wasn't a problem for me to take over my um, retightening because I did know what to do, guys. So that is the reason why I ended up doing it now. In other words, it is you can take your time doing the retightening, meaning you can take like however long you want to do. What I found that has been kind of like the best for me, usually if it's time for me to do a retightening, I'll probably end up retightening like the front of my hair first sometimes i'll do that because it's just the easiest although sometimes i may tackle the back first because the back is the um you know the hardest to do because for one is in the back and i have more hair back there so that definitely does you need the mirrors all the stuff kind of stuff and i'll talk about all the things i use when i get to that point but yeah so any other ways i usually give myself about a week and i'll give you guys a tip right when you're doing your retightening by yourself, please, please, please don't do it like how I used to. Because when I used to do my retightening, well, you know what? I'm not going to say that. I'll leave that up to your discretion. But for me, it was okay. I used to be that type that wanted to get it done all in one day. And let me tell you something. When you're doing it by yourself and you're trying to get that retightening done in one day by yourself, just know that you are going to get frustrated if you try to get that all done at once in one day i would suggest um at least give yourself two maybe even three days but now i have found what worked really great for me is i give myself a week and i will just say you know what 
this day, I'm going to give myself this many hours and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to give myself that many hours. It might be two hours. It might be three hours. And then I just stop because the one thing that you do not want to do is get tired when you're doing your retightening. Why? Because you start to make mistakes. You're going to, if you ask any other D, DIYer, you're going to mistake, make mistakes anyways when you start to do your hair. It's just that practice is going to make perfect or better. The more you practice it, the more you do it, the better you will get when you're doing your retightenings. Um, so just know that don't go crazy when you make a mistake. You may end up locking some together. You may put knots in them sometimes. Don't go crazy. It's just par for the course. That just comes along with the process, guys, okay, if you're doing it. Um, next thing, what else we talk about? So we talked about, you're going to save money. You can actually do it whenever you want to do it. But one other thing I'll add in that is you don't want to like stretch it over too far of a length. I mean, uh, time span, because like, so say if I did the front of my hair and then I said, you know what, I'm going to wait a, a couple of weeks and then I'm going to just go ahead and get to the back and whatever have you. If you do that, it's going to be growing at different rates. So it's not going to be all like it's not gonna all grow at the same time at the same rate your front will be fine then you're gonna get to your back then your front is gonna grow out before your back grow out. so you know it'll be that type of pace so you'll have to i've had to actually get used to that myself because sometimes i have done my front and neglected the back not neglected it but just waited later to do the back and now i'm on this cycle where my front is growing out quicker than my back and da, da, da. so but i guess in a way you can kind of look at that as a rest period as like oh, okay all i have to do is this and then i can get to that so it all depends on how you look at that okay fine so what else um would i say um, could be a pro about doing your own DIY. Um, well, actually, those are the, the two main things that I can think of. I'm having kind of like a brain fart in terms of like other things. But right now, if anybody else has some um, uh, pros uh, to doing your own retightening, let me know below. Leave that in the comments below, guys. If you have, like, what do you find that is a pro for you um, to do your own DIY? Um, like some of the cons of doing it is, is that yes, you will make some mistakes in your locks. It's going to happen. So get over it. Don't go crazy. It's going to happen. It's fine. But this is why I say take your time doing it and don't do it to the point where you're frustrated and tired because when you do it that way, you are going to make even more mistakes and you want to avoid that as much as possible because we paid a lot for this hairstyle and you don't want to mess up your set of special locks, okay? So there's that. Um, other things that can be a con is that you are not going to feel like doing it sometimes and that's what the procrastination, where the procrastination comes in. If you, there are just times when you just put it up, put it up, put it up, like how I have actually been doing. It's not bad. I do have a limit to myself. I do get on myself uh, about procrastinating with my retightenings, but you will feel that there will be times when you're just like, God, I wish somebody was here to do my hair. So you are going to feel that unless you're just that type that really got it together in order and da da da. I have gotten to the point where I said, okay, this is like a tip that I decided to do for myself. And it seems to have uh, it like actually worked better for me is I schedule it literally in my calendar. Like, okay, today we're working on my retightening. Da, 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 I'm working on my retightening. And also too, for me, as I'm retightening my clients here, it makes me like, it motivates me more. Like uh, 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 everybody else is like, I got to get my zone. So that's literally what happened to me yesterday. I had a client, I was talking about it and it just like made me get up in here last night. And then I was able to, to get a good amount of the back of mine done so i'm pretty much done in the front i got the bottom some of the top i got some of my edges over here done so i still got maybe like a good half of my hair in the back to do 
It's fine. It's going to get done. It is what it is. Now, what are the tools that I use when I am doing my retightening? Of course, I am using my tools. Now, the tools I use, y'all know how I feel about the sister lot tools, so I don't use those. Still love you, sister lots. But I just, you know, I use the tools that I like to use, which is my O-Locker tool. So I use this one for me. Got my little makeup thing down. And then, so there's various sizes. There's like a large one, a small one. This is great for edges. And then I had a medium one, which I lost where I am like totally pissed off. Um, I tried to order some again. I think the company went out of business or whatever because I tried to order them and just never received the tools. Tried to reach out to the company and never got an answer. So I don't know what happened with that. If anybody knows where I can get old, an old locker tool set from, if you have a contact, please let me know. I will be very, very grateful to you because I am trying to get at least two more sets of those. Um, so I would love it if someone had any information on that. And then I always just use my handy dandy spray bottle. Y'all see me when I just spray because I feel like that kind of loosens up um, like my hair. And also it allows for the ability for your hair to stretch. So when you're doing your retightness, guys, you don't want to be doing it on like super dry hair because that's going to contribute to pulling more pulling all of that different type of stuff and then when you're putting the lock i mean the tool through like so as you're um especially if your locks are long and then as it's going through that's causing friction which causes frizz down your locks okay so that is going to cause frizz however if you just dampen your hair not saturated wet all like that all you're doing is dampening it and you will find that your retightening will go a whole lot easier so even if you're going to your lock kitchen guys See if, you know, they can go ahead and just dampen your hair a little bit before your retightening and then have them do it like that and see how it feels from there. I think you will um, be surprised how um, it will feel better, especially with those of you guys out there who is experiencing pain with your retightening. By the way, you're not supposed to, but if you are, that may help. Also, I will have my scissors with me just in case, you know, um, I might do a lock that's a little too close to each other and I might have to do a snip snip here or there or just to kind of clean up a line or something. So I use that. Um, I have my clips also. So I keep my tools and clips inside of this little, like, so it's good to get you a little case or something like that to have all your stuff. That way I keep all my stuff in one place. I know where everything is. I use these little rubber, these, like, these are not rubber bands, but like stretch bands for my hair. Nothing with metal, nothing like that, so that nothing's pulling on my hair. And this is what I use to separate. I generally separate my hair and I divide it into four parts, guys. So what I'll do is just pretty much straight down the back and down the sides. I'll pull this together and then take that, bring it um, apart down the middle. Actually, I use um, six sections because it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I'll do the two sections here. Go ahead down the middle and then I'll slice it, go across the back and then just have my two sections here and then my two bottom sections and then I'll just go section by section. So I'm pulling this all up, put my, I may grab that up into a band and then take this section work on that. That's completed. Go over to the other side, complete that top and then this side and then I am done. But I also, when I get to the back, hold on, let me not move that mirror. I have a floor length mirror right here that I bring in the bathroom with me. And then I'll use that full length mirror when I have to do um, my back. And sometimes I might also bring my ring light in so that I can have a lot of light because although I do have light in here, it's not really as light as I like it. You'll find if you actually have a ring light and use that, that will really, really just like show you um clear it up for you and you can really see very clearly what you're doing i know that works for me so that is pretty much what i do to do my retightening guys so i'm going to get ready as like i said i'm getting ready for work so i gotta put on my little bit of makeup and all that other kind of stuff guys and take out my braid out and then be off to work i just wanted to come in and just give you those quick little tips on the diy because i am currently doing it so if that can help anybody i hope it helps 
um, anybody. And also, like I said, if you have any tips or tricks or whatever that you use, please list them below. Help somebody out, guys, because you help me out. Because if you can tell me something, I want to know too, all right? So anyways, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all of you tuning into my video. I really, truly do, guys. You're making it happen for me and keeping it lit over here as always. So anyways, as I always say, Sharon is Karen, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.